Hi, beautiful people, it's Courtney. Today I'm doing a bit of a throwback and doing my top three favorite slime recipes. I thought this would be great for beginners who aren't exactly sure how to make an amazing slime or for those looking for new recipes. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to click that subscribe button and let's hop into recipe number one, which is a clay slash slay slime. Which do you call it? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm starting to call it slay more. But anyways, for this slime, I'm just adding in some foaming hand wash some lotion and white glue. I'm just gonna go ahead and mix that all together and the foaming hand wash and the lotion make it a really nice creamy soft spreadable texture. So I decided to do like a chocolate chip inspired one so I'm making this a light brown color and you want to make it a little bit darker than you want your final color because it will lighten some and you'll see why. So first off I'm gonna activate this and I activate it with one teaspoon of borax into one cup of warm water you dissolve that and go ahead and pour a little bit in at a time until it starts to come together. That's the activator I'm going to be using for all of these recipes. Now when it's not completely activated and it's still quite a bit sticky, I'm going to go ahead and add in some white clay. This is Daiso clay. I'm going to link all the supplies that I'm using for this video in the comments down below. So if you want to get them on Amazon, the link will be there for you. So I'm just gonna start to combine this in. And the reason I like it to be a little bit unactivated is because the clay really will stiffen your slime if it's already super activated. So I like to kind of finish the activating once the clay is already mixed in. So I'm just gonna go in and start kneading this with my hands. And once it comes together, it's going to be a really, really nice soft texture once I've made sure all the clay is dissolved. And as you can see, the clay really does like Lighten it up. So this is such a fluffy, nice texture. I'm obsessed with it. This is a very similar texture to what I use for my bread slime and I absolutely love it. It's spreadable, it holds its shape, it's holdable. It's just really soft and creamy. Now what I decided to do next was add in some fake chocolate chip chunks and this is just using a brown foam and I'm gonna link this down below as well. These are like the same material that you would make java chips with and I just cut them into a little bit different shape just so though they look a little more like chocolate chip chunks but then I just add that into this and it gives it a really nice texture. I love this for like a base recipe and of course you could always switch it up and do whatever color combo and add ins you want to your slime. This next recipe is a great thick recipe without using glue all. So I'm using half clear and half school glue and gonna mix those two together. I'm also adding in a little lotion which will help thicken the slime and adding in some food coloring. So I'm stirring that all up. Again, you could use whatever color combinations you want, but I love this base recipe as well. So once it's this pretty pink fuchsia color, I'm gonna go ahead and start activating it. This is the same activator that I used in the first recipe, but keep in mind anytime you have a white glue in your slime recipe, you really wanna make sure you're very careful and just add a little bit of activator at a time because it will activate a lot faster than just regular school glue. So I'm being very careful of that and I'm going in extra early than I normally would and start kneading this with my hand because that will also make it come together really well. A pro tip for this is to use one hand only when you're not sure how sticky it is. That way you have a clean hand to do whatever else you need to do or grab if you need to grab more activator. So I'm going to let this sit. I always like my clear slimes to sit some. And then here is the final slime once it's kind of sat a little bit. As you can see, the color even like separated a little bit. I had to mix it back together. Um, but you get this really, really nice thick slime. And I decided to add some fake sprinkles on top just to finish off the completed slime and just spice it up a little bit. Bit.
Now for this last recipe, I'm sharing my secret cloud recipe with you guys. So this one, the base is actually very easy. All I'm doing is adding some white school glue, some water, and some food coloring, and I'm stirring it to combine. The reason I like the water is because cloud slimes work really well with the super jiggly base to it, and water will make your slime thinner, more jiggly. And then once that's kind of all combined and smoothed out, I'm gonna go ahead and activate it. Now as I'm activating it, I'm actually gonna overactivate it some because the instant snow that is used in cloud slime will actually make it a little bit sticky and a little less activated. So always overactivate for cloud slime. So I'm just going in and stirring it a ton and then going to go ahead and knead it with my hands until it fully comes together and it makes like a nice thick jiggly base. <laughs> That's what we're going for here. Um, again, for all these recipes, the measurements don't have to be exact. I always just kind of eyeball them. If you aren't sure what a jiggly slime is, it should do exactly that. It should jiggle a little bit when you poke it and play with it, as you could see this one is doing. So next what I'm gonna do is take some instant snow. This is just dry instant snow powder, and I'm gonna add just a little bit of water. You don't wanna add too much water to this, otherwise it won't turn out properly. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of toss it with my hand. Then I'm gonna add my slime into the bowl and start to add this into the slime and just kind of knead it in. I find it works best if you kind of squeeze it as you go and keep mixing and keep kneading and the trick with cloud slime is you really want to give it time to rest and let that instant snow do its thing in the slime and really just start to activate so here once I add it in I'm going to let it just sit for a little bit I let it sit for about five to ten minutes each time I do that about twice for the full slime so here I'm just kind of stretching it making sure it combines the little white specks you see will kind of add in over time and they'll no longer be there but when you first make it you'll get those little white specks in it but then after it sits I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little bit of more of that same snow and I'm just combining that in and doing the same thing just massaging the rest in and then I'm gonna let it rest and let it sit and at this point it should look like not it shouldn't really look like a cloud slime it should more look like a cloud cream slime so it shouldn't have any drizzle now after it sits for a while you should have a very wet drizzle like this it won't fluff up very nicely and what you want to do at that point is add in some dry instant snow so this is instant snow that I didn't add any water to so I'm just gonna add I just dip it in and mix it and then let it sit so that's all I'm doing here I'm just combining it and letting it sit and it really does like a magic as it sits so at this point, it is practically finished. I haven't done anything else to it except just let it sit. And most cloud slimes, if you want it to be fluffy and have a good steady drizzle, it will be crumbly at first. And then you just have to keep kind of um, stretching it and mixing it together. And then it will be form into a nice, really fluffy drizzle. So as you can see at the beginning of the first clip, it was a little bit crumbly. And then you just kind of keep stretching it back and forth and then it comes out so i decided to top this one with holographic stars and it kind of poured out everywhere it was way more than i was expecting but here is the final cloud slime so if there's two takeaway points from this cloud slime the two main things that are really important is to make sure you let it rest in between each step because if you add too much instant snow then you're going to have a crumbly cloud slime and then the next is to just make sure you start with a jiggly thick base and those two things and as long as you make sure your instant snow doesn't have too much water you should be left with a pretty decent cloud slime so i really hope you guys enjoyed these three recipes definitely let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite and stay tuned to the end of the video so you could be part of the secret hashtag If you made it to the end of this video, thank you guys so much for watching. You are part of my hashtag thick squad. Leave that in the comments down below and I will talk to you guys really soon. I hope you have an amazing Christmas and I will see you in the new year.